Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to create some cool clan logos and change the colours and all that sort of thing. So you want to go ahead and create a new document in Photoshop 800 by 800 and then make the background white and then click OK. Once you have this plain, plain screen, you should go ahead and create your logo or avatar. So for this we just have a random letter, we'll have a 7x. Press that, and then we'll just go ahead and just create a circle right in there. I don't even know what we're doing here. Just going along with it. Create another layer. Paste that in there. Flip those colors. Create another layer. And create a white. And if you're on PC, on uh, then just go and hold a Shift and Alt and that will drag all sides out at a evenly so let's have that about there hold con control or command and click on the icon and then go down to the second layer and press delete you can now go back up to this tool and delete that layer and you should have just a circle okay so let's say we're going to have that and we're going to have an X Let's have a couple of X's with how it so it's like there. And transform that and flip it. Okay, I'll do. Most of those two layers. Smaller so they fit. That should be centered. I'm just trying to create a quick logo here for you guys just so you can see what I'm on about. And then we'll just go ahead and oops, that. create a no layer just above there. And just fill in this, let's just fill in this part here. fill let's have a red ok delete just go ahead and make it a bit smaller whilst holding control makes it evenly on all sides by opening them is quite bright ok cool that'll do and then we'll uh, Duplicate that. Grab it and bring it up here. And then just move these up above that. Oops, my bad. Just go ahead and delete all that. Got a bit of cold. And then we'll just do the same on the bottom. It's not quite even, but you know, this is for tutorial purposes only. Then we'll group or oh, we'll merge those layers together and drag them below. There, so it looks a bit like that. And then for the next part we'll just uh put something in these sides so I think um let's just do this. What do? New layer, fill, and we'll just fill that one in a black, as you know, a darker grey than the outside there. Cool. Just because I can't bother to do that again, we'll just duplicate it.
and flip it around. Bloody. And then we can go ahead and add the effects that you want. So we'll just have an inner shadow on here. And on this outer ring, we will have an inner shadow once again. But with a drop shadow. I'm just making this drop. I'm just making this just for the purposes I'm of the tutorial. But anyway, I got my um, inner shadow. Just play around with it, whatever you think looks best. And then we'll go ahead and convert to smart object. Rasterize and rasterize, and then this layer we can, yeah, let's add an inner shadow to this one as well. Okay, and maybe an outer glow and make the outer glow a darker red and just make it a tiny glow so it, it just looks like it's glowing from the inside but out, inside out basically. So that'll do. And then go ahead and rasterize that layer. Convert to our smart object and rasterize it. I mean. Actually, that didn't work. We'll just get rid of that. Okay. Then rasterize. And then merge these layers. Okay, so there you got your logo. And let's say these middle pieces here are all the pieces that you want to be changed color for your. Um, avatars. So let's just create my name. Uh, okay. Right for a start, all you need to do, if that's the central one, like the main user, you can have it like that or whatever you want. But to change the color, you select the layer, go into image, adjustments, hue and saturation, and then just slide along this hue button, the one at the top, and you can change the color to whatever you want. So let's change it to a <coughs> let's change it to a purpley pink. And then you can do the same for the text. For the text, you have to click colorize, make it lighter. You make, you make, need to make the lightness. If the text is originally black, you need to make the the lightness around 27. But you, if you don't want it any lower than 15, so it's around 20, 25. And then you want the saturation to be as high as you as basically as clear as you want the colour so for this I'll set it to about 70 and then just slide along the top don't forget to select colourise and just slide along the top whichever colour you want and we'll go and head to the same colour ish just make the lightness higher or lower ok cool and now that you've got that, you can go ahead and create an inner shadow on that text if you want. Just to make it slightly darker. Okay, cool. And then just to create that again, all you need to do is File, New. Same things. Go over to here. Uh, go down to your logo that you've changed the colour of and just drag it up into there <laughs> and place it but you notice that that still, that still stays in the same place so it's cool and then your text if you wanted that text but a different colour you drag that up drop it and then you can go ahead and create a different colour so once again image Image, adjustments, hue and saturation, and then this time let's say I want a green. Let's 
go ahead pick green <laughs> go over to here and you can do the same so image adjustment here in saturation colorize saturation up a bit higher lightness up a bit and then select green so that is a easy way you can create logos and uh, avatars for clans and teams and all that sort of thing but you want to have the same logo but different colors that you see in those things thanks for watching guys don't forget to rate comment subscribe and like the video peace